early this morning. I actually feel great and energized. A typical morning for me getting up, so first thing I do is I say, after I breathe, I say, thank you, God, and thank you for this day. And then I sanctify myself and my home with frankincense. So there's frankincense billowing throughout my house. And then I say my morning prayers, and then I just let the blessings roll. In the city, thanks for waking up with Mark and Jem, 6 to 10. And right about now, everybody's excited, but not as excited as I am, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got my girl in the building here. You know, I, I have to call it Liberty Platinum. Hey, Silver baby. is nice, but I love, I love platinum too, girl. Oh, girl. You're the platinum in my life, girl. <laughs> Silver's here in the building. I'm so happy to have you in here, girl. How you doing? I am amazing, thank you. Yes, that's, and you look fantabulous. Thank baby. you. You look Good great. Good jeans. Hey, you know. Now he has had a crush on you for many a year. Oh yeah. When he heard you might come in, no lie, he started to dance in the studio. Oh, oh really? Oh no, tell. Listen. Well, you know I've had a secret crush on you thank too. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know I wrote that song all in my mind about you. Can you tell Jim? Don't oh, don't do it towards me. Tell no, Jim. I said the song should be about him because it's in his mind. <laughs> Just <laughs> so a little bit more about Liberty and your background. I'll tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, most you we all know. An interesting story. A very interesting story about. Uh, I know you were uh, you were born in Detroit. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, but then you came over here to Toronto. I was Canada. adopted as a child right. into a British family. Mm -hmm. Grew up in Peterborough, Ontario, which is like the deep south up north. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. One. And um, the day I found out I was adopted, I came to Toronto was swimming in a pool, and somebody heard me sing and said, would you like to try out for an audition? So I did, and 12 hours later, we jumped into a van, and I opened up for Bob Marley at Madison Square Gardens wow. at the age the of day, 13. The day you left at 13? Yeah. That's a So that, that was story. meant to be. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, and I haven't stopped since. That's wow, incredible. that's amazing. And for Bob. You, you didn't start with Uncle Buck. So no, no, no. Yeah. Not for <laughs> the one of the whalers. That's Bob himself. Yeah, the biggest artist in the world. And in Madison Square Garden, that must have been overwhelming. Has there mm -hmm. ever been a, um, a, a moment in your life that is maybe not matched that, but you think of come close to something like that? Because you've done so much uh, from from uh, concerts to millions of records. What have, What's come close to that type of experience? Well, I wrote, uh, co-wrote the song for the Olympics in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and then it happened again in Greece. Mm -hmm. And I went back to my adopted father, and I said, you know, Dad, it's funny how I keep... Because when I was a young child, I used to imagine stadiums right. mm -hmm. and, and performing in front of people. And he goes, well, it's no surprise because your biological parents were athletes in the Commonwealth Games. So the synergy of everything oh, really? that grows, I said, whoa, okay. Wow. So you lead a very blessed and directed life. Absolutely. At the age of three, my brother will tell you I put on a hat hat and big high heel shoes and I walked around the corner to Mary Watson's house and forced her to sing backgrounds to the Supreme songs. And every time she hit a wrong note, she would, years later she told me, I would hit her on the back of a broom with a head. Uh, 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 back of the head with the broom. <laughs> and I'm like, who has pitch tuning at age three? <laughs> right. So and can we go back? I just want to know, what was that performance like when you opened for Bob Marley? Because was that your first? It was, it was the first huge. one I'd ever done, besides, you know, the lunch school thing. Mm -hmm. But um, it was good. Somebody asked you, asked me uh, many years ago, what did you, what happened? What did you say to him? What did he say to you? And I said, he said, you're seeing good money. And, <laughs> and, and what did you say back to him? And I said, I made a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Because at age 13, that's huge. 20 that's years ago, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Wow. And you know, in school, I was bullied for being different and also being from, uh, you know, from my culture and stuff and being adopted and stuff like that. And as soon as I started to sing, everybody loved me. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And I used to have little mini concerts in my basement and charge them homework answers, chocolate bars, whatever. And I became an entrepreneur. I used yeah. that situation to turn everything around. And so again, with this whole directed life, Strong and I were just talking about the fact that we happened to book in the Argos with the anti-bullying right. and then see that that was actually part of your journey right. was to move from that was your release Absolutely. and your escape. I believe your hurt becomes your cause and I have the Liberty Silver Foundation now that builds self-esteem and we go into the schools, we have a curriculum, we made up a curriculum and it's been accepted into the Peel region now mm -hmm. and the schools are just gravitating towards it because what it does, it makes it kids aware, the children aware that they're divine by nature, mm -hmm. and it identifies with who they are so they can start from there rather than what people tell them mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. are. So it's really important to reach the youth, and I do it through music. Right. You know? Listen, you do it through your voice. I'm well, listening to uh, you. Jim, I was just about to say, you're almost going into a singing. song right yeah. now. Your voice is just beautiful it's and lovely. It's one thing to hear singing, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I can hear it in your soul. You speak from your soul, bro. Mm -hmm. We have Liberty Silver in the building. 416-870-4987. Give us a call, and let us 
Some of you have any questions or comments for Liberty right now? Let's or get the traffic. Oh yeah, let's get the traffic real quick with Lisa. Right and then that same night you won another one. Yeah, and I was nominated for like, I was nominated for four altogether that night. That's mm -hmm. amazing. You've also opened for Bob Marley's, we yeah. talked about B.B. King, Maya yeah. Angelou, Desmond Tutu, Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. uh, Temptations. SLS, Michael, I love this, Mikhail Gorbachev. That's yes. interesting. He huh? looked at my breast and said, hello, how are you? I said, I'm up here. <laughs> I'm up here, Mikhail. I said, I'm up here. So while, right you're, here. while you're looking at his birthmark, he's looking at Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm up here, sir. <laughs> That's a <laughs> oh my goodness. The things you learn backstage. <laughs> but I want to say to Jem, mm -hmm. you are a goddess, a princess, and divine queen, and we thank, thank you, you. For, right. for, for <laughs> working with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and, sh and, and just showing how strong and wonderful and intelligent you are every morning, very thank early. Thank you. And it's a great example for all of us. No, now I really am in love with you. Oh no, I mean it. I mean it. Thank I mean, I listen, you. so I hear you. No, because I, I know right after the cardio, you were like, boop, 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 boop. Listen, he didn't do what he was supposed to do, right. and I'm going to, okay? And maybe next album you can dedicate a song to her, maybe. But <laughs> All right, you let me know. No, I, just, I just want an intro. I don't want to step out of my place. Okay? So just give me the intro in between, I would be blessed. Absolutely. And it's a blessing not only to have you here, mm -hmm. um, because it is kind of like you said, where we know about you, but we don't have access to really mm. sit and listen and talk and find out what you're doing and really right. hear, because even hearing you speak, has really even changed. I see so much more of you mm, and right. the divinity in you, where it was more about Liberty Silver, the star. You right. know what I mean? Yep. So being able to have you here is a blessing, and know that you're listening to us is also absolutely, a absolutely. I'm just so proud and honored that that you guys are here, and that Fitzroy Gordon has done what he has done with an incredible staff of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of them that I know from back in the day, and here also. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and of course the new DJ. <laughs> 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 Trying legs and time to have specs. <laughs> So people can find out more at libertysilvermusic.com. Yes, everything's the, there. If you the want to get in contact with me and want to hear music, if you want to, you know, you have children or you have you want the curriculum, the foundation, it's all there. Okay. So once again, libertysilvermusic.com. Definitely. You guys can also tweet us. We'll continue to let you know. And this is not a one-time thing. You're going to be your no, family. No, anytime you need me. Absolutely. Oh, and if you get hungry, let me need me. Oh. But I'm going to shout out again. Anybody who comes on this show That's right. needs Respect. to bring in the goodies. Put, Thank put, you. Bring in the over tea and uh, work on my dog. Liberty Silver in the building. Thank you very much for coming out, girlfriend. Thank and you. Uh, this is not, again, this is not like a one-time thing. We will have you in Absolutely. a couple of times. I'll be calling you and harassing you several <laughs> times. Because when I get hungry, I just know where to get the hacky and salt fish. And the luck still, you know what I mean? Peace on earth, everyone. Peace on earth. All right, let's get to traffic. What's going on, Lisa?